Good day, my name's Hugh Reed, and uh, I, I'd like to give you a few uh, mnemonics, memory devices, acronyms for Miranda rights and the exceptions in criminal law. Now, I, uh, you know, one thing you ought to know is uh, that I love acronyms and memory devices. If you, if you grew up remembering the Great Lakes with the acronym HOMES, you'll know what I'm talking about. But in my younger years, I was an Army Ranger and then ended up my career in the Army being in charge of pilot training. And I can tell you this, both Rangers and pilots love acronyms, they love mnemonics, um, they absolutely uh, want to perform at their best during, um, during anxiety conditions because there's no time to really think about things. And that's how you ought to think about on law school exams and the bar exams. You ought to say, all right, I know Miranda. I mean, what does it say? Miranda, basically, it's a Fifth Amendment right to counsel. It says that uh, once a, uh, a defendant is in custody, that is, in his own mind, he's not free to leave. And secondly, once he's being interrogated, uh, the police have to give him or her the Miranda rights, which says, uh, it's Miranda versus Arizona is the case, which says that um, we're going to question you about a crime we think you've committed, and um, you don't have to say anything. Uh, you can not say anything, but anything you say we can use at trial, and if you're too poor, if you're indigent, we can appoint counsel for you. Do you understand these rights? And then they can start questioning you unless you say, hey, I want an attorney. All right. So the Fourth Amendment provides us rep, R-E-P. That is a reasonable expectation of privacy. And the Fifth Amendment allows us to invoke our rights, not to incriminate ourselves. And that's part of Miranda. So we have warrant requirements via the Constitution and by case law, a warrant. That is when the police want to search your property or your person. And you can remember the warrant requirements with the acronym PIMPS, P-I-M-P-S. The P stands for probable cause. The I-M stands for an impartial magistrate. Uh, the second P in PIMP stands for particularity that is specificity as to what the police or the state is looking for. And finally, the S stands for state action. It has to be state action. Any kind of police action constitutes state action. So we have a number of exceptions for warrants. I remember them with box pies. Those are the most often tested exceptions. There are shorter versions, but box pies includes a number of exceptions to warrants. What are those? The B in box stands for border searches. The A stands for automobile searches. The C stands for consent, if you give consent. The H in box stands for hot pursuit. The S in box stands for school searches. P stands for plain view. I stands for incident to arrest or searches incident to arrest.